We're back today with Chris Lindsay, Go to Sleep Critter Control. Me and my beautiful wife, Michelle Lindsay, mm, whom I love so dearly. Mm. She has eyebrows on today, so she's gonna let me get as close no, as I want the camera. Cool. Okay, well, we're gonna show you what we've been doing today. Uh, we're day two out of my back surgery. Doctor said I could walk around as much as I want, so I've been walking, you know what I mean? I've been having her set these snares for me. So we got this one here, big loop, as you can see. You know what I mean? Because it's a wide area in the trail. We've got it covered in this depression, so it's they can't see it from coming either way. It's right in a low spot from down this trail. Either way, it's they're walking right through. See what I'm saying? I got it 12 to 14 inches off the ground, 20 inch loop. 20 inch loop's big, but it, as you can see, I got my tackle blended in pretty good. Continue on down our little way here. I've got eight or 12 of them down here. I can't remember how many the hell I got. We'll see here now, counting them on the way out, but. As you can see, we've got us a good little uh, stretch of land that we we got snared in here. Now, I should have one right here, but I don't. And I've, I don't know, just a second ago, my wife said that she could see a little tiny spot of blood where I'm bleeding through my shirt on my back. So I'm gonna get home and take her easy, lay on my belly for a little while. Make sure these stitches are good. I did just have spinal surgery. Don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I've got that one back there. And then I got another in here. As you can see, kind of right there between that tree and that little bush. Another one up there a ways. Ooh, and I'm walking straight through a thistle field right here. Getting thistled up. Ugh attention to where I'm going instead of what I'm walking through. Here I got another one as you can see there. Over here on this trail here. I've got another one right here that keeps on falling down. And I just pulled it off. Hold on one second guys. Bear with me with the shitty footage because I've only got two hands. And uh to make this work somehow, huh? Hey, Ellie, I think that's about as good as that one's gonna get. It's a little short for a coyote shit, it barely misses my dog. Come on, dummy. She goes right under it though. And then on this trail out, I got a couple more. Right here in this little narrow thicket, I got a good one laid in there. But it's such a good one that when anything else walks through there, it knocks it over. You know what I mean? Because this here is just a branch that I had before my surgery. I cut a branch off one of these one of these uh, aspen with my machete, stuck it down in there, and went from that. You know what I mean? It's not packed in there that good. I should have beat it down into the ground. I need to get me some of them. Uh, I've seen these really awesome snare supports, and they're made with like some uh, three eighths rebar that that you'll weld. Uh, Weld a piece of number nine wire to, you know, 12, 14 inch piece of number nine wire to the top of it, you know what I mean? And then you've got you, or to the side of it or whatever, you know what I mean? And then you've got you, your snare supports that are just really good snare supports. Weld you a little kick off the side of it so you step it into the ground. You don't even have to beat it with a hammer, you, don't, you know what I mean? But then you can also, I've seen them to where they've got a little loop around the bottom of them, a little loop welded into the bottom of them where you latch your anchors through and then I've seen people drive them straight into the ground and just use that and re-clip their, reattach their uh, snare support, their snares right to that. And they'll use, they'll have it tall for a kill pole as well. So you'll have it, your snare will be anchored up to the top of your, of your, uh, your half inch rebar, you know what I mean? Or your five eighths rebar or whatever it is. And then, 
your it'll be anchored into the ground so your yoda or whatever will be fluming around it'll probably be bent by the time you get to it you know what i mean but them kill poles you just bend them right back with your hammer you know what i mean all right guys that's what we got have a good one.